Elon Musk wants to send you to Mars, but SpaceX is not working on food or life support for the journey or the colonies. NASA is, and we are. To take this one pound of food to space will cost $10,000. To the moon, it will be double the price. And to Mars, it will be 100 grand. That's the cost of a Maserati. A crew of four on a three-year Mars mission would require 24,000 pounds of food. So taking the food with us comes with an astronomical cost. It's also very risky because if anything goes wrong with the food, everyone there would starve to death. That's because resupply is not an option. My name is Moji. I'm a co-founder at Sanvita Factory. We're a team of scientists, astronauts, and uh, entrepreneurs, and we have a solution for this problem. We plan to use the one kilogram per day of carbon dioxide that astronauts breathe out. And on Mars, we plan to use the 96% of the carbon dioxide in the Martian air and convert it to food, nutrients, and uh, pharmaceutics, starting with glucose. Basically, we're building a bioreactor that takes in carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water and converts it to glucose. Does that sound familiar? That's exactly what plants do via photosynthesis. This technology will enable NASA to create a regenerative life support system that doesn't exist today. But our customers would also include NASA contractors, private space companies, and space tourism. On the terrestrial market, we're speaking with the Department of Defense, and they're interested in this technology as a way to biomanufacture nutrients and pharmaceutics in remote, loca remote locations, uh, field hospitals, and also for disaster recovery. A wearable version of this technology would also disrupt the established and commercial diabetes device market that's worth $30 billion. So we're solving real world problems in space and on Earth. We started the company a year and a half ago right here at a station Houston, and we're also part of the Capital Factory Accelerator program. Since then, we have won the MBR Space Settlement Challenge, and my brilliant co-founder Tara there has also published a book with Springer explaining the science behind the technology that we're deploying. So when you think about it, Mars landing is the biggest achievement of humanity in our lifetime. And we want to be part of that and looking forward to other passionate people who would like to discuss that. Thank you.